All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and this is your weekly Xur location and loot PSA. He does have some god rolls, so make sure you go see Xur. He's on Nessus right now at the Watcher's Grave in the one of three spots that he can be at. Looking through his entire inventory, he has the Wordcliffe Coil, which is an extremely strong exotic rocket launcher if you don't already have it, but I feel like most people already have it by now, right? Orpheus Rig was uh, a pair of exotic hunter boots that were super OP back in the day. Now, they're decent, but they're definitely nothing to squawk over. They're not as crazy as they used to be, but definitely worth grabbing if you don't have. Again, this roll is pretty terrible, though, with a very low recovery and uh, decently high resilience. It's not going to be the best roll, so you can probably skip past that. Saitans, so if the upcoming Hive are about to have Saitans, make sure you have some Saitans as well. This roll is actually really good right here. Um, high resilience and high recovery is actually hard to find and low mobility. So definitely a really good pair of Saitans. I'll definitely grab those for my Titan. Uh, the Skull of Dire Hamakara, uh, Nova Bomb kills Grant Super Energy. I don't see too many Warlocks using this too often, but this roll uh, is also pretty bad too. So just an average roll uh, an an for an average exotic. Next up, we'll talk about the weapons. We've got Escape Velocity. We've got Grave Robber Elemental Capacitor. Not the God roll. Not an interesting roll. The Seven Seraph Officer Revolver with timed payload though. And a Reload Masterwork and Hammer Forged and Tactical Mag. This is a god roll of an S tier weapon in PvE. Make sure you grab this. This is amazing. I can't even believe that Xur is selling this. This is unbelievable. So many people have worked so hard to get this for so long. And now it is just sitting there for anyone to grab. Make sure you grab this weapon. You will regret it if you don't. Next up, we have Nature of the Beast. It's Quick Draw, Range Finder. The magazine perk does kind of suck on this one, but it's still a really good weapon uh, or a good roll of a weapon. Um, but the archetype for 180s is not the best overall. Distant Tumulus with Pulse Monitor opening shot. Nothing interesting about that. Threat Detector Outlaw Long Shadow. Nothing interesting about that. The Falling Guillotine. Not the God roll of that. And it is cool to see the Bio of the Fox can drop here. But this roll is certainly not that interesting. As we go through the armor, we got a 59, a 59 cloak, and a 61 with high resilience for the Hunter. And then low resilience um, on this of boots so this would easily be the best piece of armor for your hunters so that's gonna be a wrap on this psa though make sure you get out there grab that seven serif revolver you won't regret it make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you want to stay up to date on all things destiny 2 smash the like button i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching later